Extensive urban data, digital twins of cities and complex environmental simulations allow us to see the built environment in new ways. As a consequence, it appears that building policies are shifting from absolute constraints, towards performative constraints. For example, an absolute constraint could simply restrict new developments to the height of a city's landmark. This is easy to measure and comply with. However, a performative constraint could allow you to build as high as you want, as long as the proposed new building does not diminish existing qualities of its surroundings. Since these complex constraints pose a challenge to existing building and policy regimes, new tools are needed. Developed by MVRDV, Solarscape is a simulation and negotiation tool for urban performances. It proposes a computational model for the city that visualizes the effects of public daylight policy. The project is part of a larger study by MVRDV's in-house research and development group MVRDV Next. The dream is not new. Since its early days, MVRDV has explored the relations between data and city. For instance, in Bordeaux, we designed an entire master plan that is based on maximizing daylight on public spaces. To explore this systematically, we take Rotterdam as a case study. It is estimated that the city needs an additional 50,000 apartments. As an integral part of a strategy to facilitate this growth, the municipality of Rotterdam defined four high-rise zones within the High-Rise Vision 2019. The largest of these zones, the Binnenstad, defines required daylight qualities for a total of 32 public areas. They call them sunspots. And for any newly planned building development, the impact on sunlight qualities for these sunspots needs to be evaluated. The complex interplay of these sunspots can make potential development opportunities hard to read. How can we visualize and quantify the impact of such complex, yet essential regulations? Let's take one plot as an example. To spatialize the impact of these sunspot policies, we extrude the entire plot up to 200 meters and raster it in a three-dimensional grid. And here are the sunspots defined by the municipality next to the plots. For each of these 3D cells we simulate and quantify the impact on surrounding sunspots, and remove cells with a negative impact. The core algorithm to run and evaluate this process, is MVRDV's custom ray tracer. Written in Grasshopper, a parametric design extension for the 3D modeling software, Rhino, this ray tracer has been developed and tested over the course of more than a year and implemented in several projects at MVRDV. Once this process is automated, we can easily scale it up to all developable plots within the high-rise zone. Once all 3D cells with a negative impact are removed, what is left are envelopes for development opportunities, towards a city without a shadow. So what we are proposing here, is a software as a platform to negotiate the interests of different stakeholders within the planning and development processes of cities. Private developers aim to maximize area and value for future inhabitants. The municipality establishes policies to balance the growth by retaining the quality of public spaces. While these policies are formulated with the ambition to allow for responsible growth, it is hard to foresee their effects without spatializing them. Through the translation of words into space, we believe that tools such as Solarscape can accelerate a dialogue between the city and entrepreneurs. For developers, this can reveal impactful sites and strategies, which retain high qualities for a building as well as its environment. And for the city, Solarscape allows to quickly test and adjust the effects of building policies at the time of writing them. So what kind of cities are shaped, enabled and prevented, by these seemingly invisible policies? Let's take a city tour in the Solarscape. 